What is up, everyone? What up, what up, what up, what up? Steve Chapman, Fishing Florida Radio. And the last few times I've done this, they've all been about bass and Major League Fishing. And I thought this time that I would do something a little bit different. Hammer! A little bit different, and I'm going to open, well, I've already opened them, but I am going to show you what comes in the new, hey, Hank, what comes in this month's Lucky Tackle Box and Mystery Tackle Box, and then we will have a purse you can comment below in it or while you're watching this and tell me which one you think is the best. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick someone or I'm going to have it randomly picked through the software that we use and you can win all the crap that is in these things. Now, if you don't know, they're like 13, 14, 15 bucks a month and they're supposed to put, make sure there's no addresses, make they, they're supposed to put like $30 or 25, $30 worth of goodies in these for you. It's like getting Christmas during the middle of the month. This month, they both came out at the exact same time, which is really odd and cool. Hello? I wish I could say your name. Alary? Hello? Sorry if I butchered your name. I'm horrible at names. So, hey, hey, Peppy. Peppy is, Peppy's a tournament fisherman and never calls the show anymore for some unknown reason. Just too good for us, I guess. Um, but I'm very... Happy to see you doing very well on the, the Redfish Tour. We're always rooting for you. I hope you know that. So, uh, cigar peppy. So anyway, which one to start off with? Oh, hey, Valerie. Sorry. Thumbs up, Valerie. Thank you. I'm going to start off with Mystery Tackle Box. Now, I should tell you, Mystery Tackle Box... I knew a friend that used to that started this named Jeremy, and Jeremy was on the show with us years ago. Was that in my left hand? Yes, I think that was my left hand. So uh, Jeremy was a very good friend of ours, and then moved on. So I uh, I will open up this one. It's already opened up, but this is the mystery tackle box, and this is. I think they changed their name to Carl's Mystery Tackle Box now too. So this is what you get in this month's thing. Now, as you can see, there's a crap falling out a sticker catch them company sticker if you wanted that i'm sorry i just threw it in the garbage so what did we get out of this month's to start off something now both of these are bass fishing by the way bass bass fishing boxes to start off in the mystery tackle box something very good y'all should have some of these z-man chatter baits i don't think you can beat this one this is a, a good, hey Jeff, this is something that everyone should have and everyone should learn how to, to, to throw right. So not bad. This is worth, because they tell you what everything is worth in the book. The This chatterbait's worth five bucks, so five dollars. So then we have a Lucky John Shad. Uh, I don't know if you can see the color properly because there's a reflection. Uh, let me see if I can, I don't know how to do the reflection. I don't even know. Well, I'll get it close up. How does that look? Kind of cool. It is a uh, dives between 1 and 2.3 feet, 13 grams. It's an 80 millimeter small one. Kind of nice looking bait, to be honest. I don't mind that one. So that one's worth... That's the Lucky John Shad. That one is worth $10. So we have 15 bucks right off the bat. Next we have some, I mean, what? See, this is what kills me. Why can't they have just a regular name like Steve's Bates? Somat, Somatis Bates? Kills me, absolutely kills me. They are not scented. But they're little uh, tried and true plastics. This is worth three dollars, so we have about eighteen dollars so far. They give you some stickies, 
offset worm hooks, which everyone can use. Those are about $2, so now we have 20 bucks. Oh, and here's something, I didn't even notice this. They gave us a, a real pack. See, now here's the difference. Oh, it's backwards, sorry. Um, this, this bait bat, this one only has six in it. So this is kind of like a half pack. That's the one flaw in this whole thing. They give you like sample packs so that if you like them, then you need to go out and buy them. But they gave us these, and I've seen these all over the Vile Bugs on Facebook everywhere. I was going to buy some of these just to try them out, which kind of now really sucks because now I said I was going to give this whole thing away, and I'll end up just going out and buying these again. They're enhanced with Biosent, and I think if I remember correctly, these stink. And this is worth $6. So you probably have total... How much is that? 15, 15 and, uh, and nine, so maybe 25 bucks in, in stuff. And I think I, think I, I think I buy this whole thing for, for $12.95 a month, give or take. So really not bad if you think about it. You got one hard lure, a full pack of the vile bugs, the chatterbait from Z-Man, which is awesome, some offset worm hooks, which you always need more of, and uh, this bait, the Samatis Baits, S-A-M-A-T-I-S. You can go to samatisbaits.com if you want more information. Not bad. Not too bad. So, there you go. I'll put all that stuff in except the sticker because you're not getting the sticker because I'm not going in the trash. If you don't know me, I have hand issues. Heaven forbid I'm not touching the trash. Never. Okay, Lucky Tackle Box. I should say, I appreciate that they put the toilet paper kind of thing on here. I like this. Now, on this case, this box, the Mystery Tackle Box, I couldn't even close the whole box because of all the stuff this, year, this month in this one. So, let's go with the Lucky Tackle Box. Let's start, oh, I, I see something nice. Well, they're gonna start us off with a Stellar Jig Company. Let me see if I can find the price for everything first. I think this is the price of everything. Maybe not. Let me look at this real fast. I should have been better prepared, but I wasn't. No, it doesn't have prices. Oh, well. We'll take a good guess. So, there we go. Stellar Jig. People like these. People fish with them. I'm not a good fisherman with them. Some Mustat Stand Up Head Jigs and in the pink. It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I got a bunch of pink uh, pink hooks from TTI Daiichi that I've been using completely all every day because it is bass, uh, Breast Cancer Awareness. So you gotta do your thing. Nice. Aha, uh aha, -huh, aha. Uh -huh, uh -huh. A Savage Gear 3D Bat. Uh, I'm gonna open this up so you can see it. Maybe I'm not, oh yeah, we're good. there we go. Oh yeah, oh here we go. Here you go. Now this, if you use this and catch something with it, you are one hell of an angler. I don't know if you can see it properly. There it is. Treble hooks, tail tr uh, there. That's probably, I think these are about $13. Kind of an expensive lure. I'm never going to get it back into this container, so it's just going, hey, uh, Jonathan, it's just going straight back into the box. And then we have some Logic Lure Plastiques. I, I, I've used these quite a bit. I, used to, I use these when I go uh, ditch fishing. It's one of the things that, uh, a hidden secret. The, they have great, I, I don't know if you can see, they have great eyes on them. Um, and that's a key. So, not bad. And then last, they gave us some infused with Bama fuel. So all LSU players are not, all LSU teams are not going to like this. They gave us some Bama baits. I've never heard of this, never seen these ones. So, 
stand up stand up heads jig head full bag of plastics sample bag of the Bama bait and then the bat so I would imagine, so we'll look at 13, probably four or $5, 13, we'll say 18, $3, 21, 23, 25. Hey, Brian. Hey, Dustin. So maybe about the same amount. Hey, Stanley. So there you go. Um, I wish I could tell you exactly what it was, but I don't know. The Savage Gear Bat is really, really kind of cool. They give you some pro tips on how to cast it and all that stuff. I mean, this is, if you're just looking for unique things, this is fairly unique. Uh, hey, Daniel. Hey, guys. So there you go. So which one is better? Watching from New Long Island, New York. That's awesome. Which one is better, Mystery Tackle Box or Lucky Tackle Box? Really, there's no, there's no correct answer. You want to know why? Hey, James. Because I'm giving it all to one person that watches this thing. So there you go. Comment in here. Savage Gear works well, Dustin says. That's my boy, Dustin. Savage Gear makes some crazy looking lures. Some crazy looking lures. Jeff from Minnesota, hello. So there you go. Which one is better this month? That one you're not getting back into the plastic box. Because it's just too, too tough for me to do. Hey, Mark. Hey, Daniel. So comment below, what is the better one? Mystery tackle box or lucky tackle box? And then what I'll do is I'll put this through the little computer thing that we have to do our social media and it'll pick one person and you can get, yeah, I'm gonna send all of this stuff to you, which is like $50, $55 worth of tackle because excluding these, this would be the only thing I use. Hey Jeff, hey Richard. The bat is crazy cool, that's for sure. So uh, go in the description. I'm gonna put this on YouTube too, so go over there, check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Fishing Florida, Fishing FL Radio. Also Saturday, we have a little bit of surprise for some people. Saturday is actually our gumbo cook-off. So if you're in Orlando and you want one of these, you can get a VIP pass. And what this does is this gives you a VIP pass and it also gives you a bottle of Tito's vodka. Hey now. So, but you have to be in Orlando and all the money we raise goes towards a youth fishing organization. So that's why we do it. I know Jeff, I have you one already in there. So link in, look in there, comment. There's no, there's no winner or loser. Just all you gotta do is comment. That's how it's gonna work. Go to our YouTube page, go to uh, uh, and check it out, subscribe, click the notification button. There's all sorts of stuff. But Saturday, what I was gonna tell you is Saturday, Brandon Card is gonna be on the radio show. We're gonna talk to him about his decision on this whole Major League Fishing and see how he did, uh, it says. John Jordan says, I fished near Hugh Bit uh, Bridge and a bat house, and that would be cool to try there. Whichever one had the savage bat lure, his, uh, that's who he's picking. So Daniel Fay, good morning, or good af evening, good afternoon, whatever it is. So go on our, again, Facebook, you know our Facebook page. Go to our YouTube channel, Instagram, all that stuff, and just be a part of what we're slowly starting to make our way into doing. So um, check us out Saturday morning, 6 to 9. You can watch us live on Facebook and we have all the cameras going. It's a little bit awkward, but we'll be doing it six to eight. We'll be doing a live show and then eight to nine years. Let's have to listen to it off regular iHeartMedia radio and all that other stuff. So I thank you all for, for watching. Again, comment. I'm going to give all this stuff to one person tonight. Um, maybe an update in a couple days on all this other stuff we're hearing with Bass. But I was just trying to do something different because it seems all we've talked about lately is this Major League Fishing. And, and, and it's consumed us. So we need to have something. We need to do something cool and give away some stuff. So there you go. You wanna, I'm going to also throw in some other stuff in there too. Because I've got bags and bags 
a bass assassin, saltwater assassin. Bags of new culprit stuff. I've got some other things that are that aren't even on the market. I'm gonna throw in this thing. So make a comment. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. See you soon. This is Jim. Jim loves fishing, boating, anything to do with time on the water, whether on the flats with his buddies, cruising around with the family, or an early morning solo session on his kayak or paddleboard. His time on the water is important and what he looks forward to after a long week of work. But no matter what boat he is on, there never seems to be a good way to keep the gear he needs organized, secure, and easy to get to in a safe place. Until one day, he found out about tackle webs. With tackle webs, Jim can easily add durable, accessible storage to any of his vessels, wherever he needs his stuff. Now, Jim enjoys stress-free days on the water, no matter how much stuff his friends and family brings. Find out how Tackle Webs can help you at TackleWebs.com.
favorite is Jim. Jim loves fishing, boating, anything to do with time on the water, whether on the flats with his buddies, cruising around with the family, or an early morning solo session on his kayak or paddleboard. His time on the water is important and what he looks forward to after a long week of work. But no matter what boat he is on, there never seems to be a good way to keep the gear he needs organized, secure, and easy to get to in a safe place. Until one day, he found out about tackle webs. With tackle webs, Jim can easily add durable, accessible storage to any of his vessels, wherever he needs his stuff. Now, Jim enjoys stress-free days on the water, no matter how much stuff his friends and family brings. Find out how Tackle Webs can help you at TackleWebs.com.